through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Friday. We're now in the season between Ascension and Pentecost where we're praying for God's kingdom to come here on earth as it is in heaven. We await the coming of the promised Holy Spirit at Pentecost. And so we have the song of praise, the song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading appointed for today is taken from Galatians chapter 5, beginning at verse 13. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Live by the Spirit, I say, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast... The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. As we consider the contrast between our flesh and God's Holy Spirit, we hold before him those things that we need to repent of today. 
and to invite his spirit to give us more grace as we live according to his will for our lives. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Thanks be to you, O Lord. Alleluia. Amen. And so we continue with a time of prayer. We focus on the words of Jesus on Ascension Day, which we celebrated yesterday. We hear his commissioning, calling his disciples to be witnesses. And we ask him to show us how we might fulfil such a calling as that on our lives. Gracious God, you give us a glimpse of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Through him we are able to come before you into your presence and to rejoice in your love. So we give you thanks and praise for the coming of Jesus into our world and for his ascension where he draws our humanity into your nearer presence in the heavenly realm. We remember in your presence all who have not heard the good news and so we pray for the five people that we have committed to hold before God during these days. We pray come Holy Spirit renew us that we might be witnesses to Christ as we hold before you those we name. We pray that they may come to know your healing love, your redemption and salvation in their lives. Grant that the whole church may proclaim your love and saving power. And so we pray too for those who preach and teach, who administer the sacraments and share your love within the church and beyond. We pray for the areas of our world where darkness seems to triumph over light. We remember those who are facing great need this day, those who are addicted, those who feel bound by circumstance beyond their control. And we pray for the freedom that your spirit brings to loose us from all that would bind and chain us. May we live as people of your glorious liberty and seek to pursue justice, peace and liberty for all. We give you thanks and praise, Lord, for all those who have shared their faith with us for all who have encouraged us in the way of goodness. We ask your blessing upon them and upon our loved ones and friends. We pray too for all who have been ill for a long time, for those whose illness finds no cure. We pray for all who feel they're losing their faculties or their independence, all who cannot cope on their own. 
and we ask your blessing on those who care for others in need today. We hold before God those most affected by disaster, war, violence and acts of terror around the world. We hold before you, Lord, particularly those people in Texas grieving the loss of their young children. And for those caught up in the war between Russia and Ukraine. We rejoice in the fellowship of the saints and we remember loved ones who are departed from us. We commend them, the whole of creation and our own lives to your unfailing love. Come Holy Spirit, renew us this day that we may be fitting witnesses to Christ. Loving God, your Son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope, for he is our Redeemer. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for joining Pablo and me for morning prayer today. We look forward to those of you who will be able to join us in our worship this coming Sunday at either of our morning services or the ordination for vocational deacons. We hold them before God as they enter their retreat this day. May God bless you.